A gross up or margin calculation is done when we know a net number but want to calculate the gross number. You have to be careful because the terms gross up, margin, or markup are sometimes used interchangeably, but they can mean different things. So you have to be clear on what type of a calculation you're doing. We would use the gross up method when we're working in retail and wanting to use the retail method for markup, or when we are calculating fringe benefits for the purposes of taxation. So if we know the gross number and we're trying to solve for net, so if we know the net, the gross number, it would just be gross times one minus whatever percentage we're dealing with. So then if we solve, if we solve for gross using algebra, it must be the net divided by 1 minus the percentage. Let's consider an example to understand this a little bit better. The employer I used to work for would give out prizes for when we went above and beyond. And one time I was given a bicycle. So let's say for simplicity's sake that bike is worth $100. When your employer gives you something non-cash, that's a fringe benefit, and it is taxable. I have to pay tax on it. And my marginal tax rate, let's say, is 36%. So you might think, simple, just multiply the $100 by 36%. That is how much tax that I owe, $36. My employer's philosophy was, if they give you a gift, a gift should be free, you shouldn't have to pay tax on it. So they're going to reimburse me for the tax. So do they just give me $36? What's the problem with that? If they give me $36 in, tax, in cash to pay the tax, that cash is now taxable. So I owe, 30, I owe tax on the $36. So you might think, okay, well, give me another 36% of the $36. But then that amount is taxable as well, and we keep going round and round. So instead, we use the gross-up formula. We take the net amount, which is the $100, and we divide it by 1 minus the percentage, which is 1 minus 0.36. Remember your order of operations. We have to do the brackets first. $100 divided by 0.64, plug that into our calculators and get 156.25. The amount that they have to give me in cash is the difference between the cost of the bike and what we calculated with the formula. So they have to give me $56.25 in cash to pay my tax. Does that work? Does that make sense? Well, if we multiply 156.25 by my tax rate of 36%, we'll get $56.25. So they gave me a bike for $100, $56.25 in cash, and the total tax on that would be $56.25. So they've given me a bicycle and they've paid the tax on it for me. And that is how we do a gross up.